Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain the question number 88 that is Epoch in SGTM. So most of the experienced candidates as well as the fresher freshers, so they are they don't know you know what is Epoch and how to derive in the SGTM variable. Today I am going to explaining the what is Epoch and uh, how to map that Epoch variable in SGTM. We'll discuss. Okay, so if you are really interested to learn the remaining 87 questions, so you can you know join my YouTube channel and watch all the previous questions by paying 119 rupees. Okay, so if you are really interested to learn the real time clinical oncology projects in 45 days, you can contact below person. So we are you know planning to give a demo on 6 January. So anyway, the details given by the below person you can contact him so if you don't want to attend the classes if you don't only need the material and recorded videos also you can contact the below person he will guide you okay coming to the topic epoch so nowadays the sgtm implementation guide and cds people are implementing the epoch variable as a you know uh expected variable okay so that means every domain should containing the epoch variable present 3.2 and you know some versions of sgtm implementation guide so it is a permissible variable so some studies they are ignoring that permissible variable not including the data set but in the upcoming versions and this version 3.2 onwards it is going as expected variable we have to include that variable in the uh, particular domain okay so what is the epoch means fda requested epoch in clinical subject level observation to help review easily determine which phase of trial the observation is occurred so by looking at each and every observation so we need to know so which phase of trial okay so that particular observation comes under which phase so we have to represent in the epoch variable okay so first of all generally what the programmers do so they created subject element data set so in the subject element data set a c data set so there is a start date and end date based upon the start date and end date we derive something and that will going to implement as a epoch so i'll show you that one so here these are the some expected epoch observation so run in the screening whether it is in a treatment phase whether it is in a washout period whether it is a double blinded treatment phase whether it is a continuous treatment follow-up induction so many observations you know these are the observation may expected from epoch variable okay so 